all right to begin the campaign there's a lot of little things we're going to be doing initially so to start out lady fen here is actually someone that has reward to fill and corrupt to start so that's great we're going to get plus 10 satisfaction faction wide we're going to kick out these two strategists we don't really care about them let's remove them out of the picture we won't kick this sentinel just yet we'll do it in a little bit of time we're going to divorce lady fen from juan chu because they share kids and are married on turn one she's actually a distant relative with him already so we have two females for marriage which is great and we're going to use that to our advantage now to begin we're going to go to diplomacy we're going to go to sun Jun, and then we're going to start doing a military access first we're going to find a common item if you have one if not just give enough money to make it happen we're going to get a 0.0 .0 and then the trending towards attitude value with him is going to get to very friendly which we do want we now by getting him to very friendly it's going to make it easier to, to demand legitimacy but also to form a coalition with him but not yet so you see the coalition is at negative 3.9 at the moment we want to get that even higher so the thing is that it might show that the very friendly here is at, at 52 right now i think it is let's get him up just a tiny little bit more let's do this here Boop. and get him just a tiny little bit more and then if we go to do the coalition where is it negative three and there we go positive so you have to get just a little bit more here in order to get this deal done at a pretty good overall value now let's give him a little bit of money per turn we're going to give it 67 per turn for the next 10 turns and we're going to get acknowledge legitimacy which boosts relations greatly and we're going to get form coalition which also boosts relations enough so that we're going to get him trending towards best friends which is great and now we're just going to give him pennies over time to get the current attitude to reach the trending towards value Very faster well. So th how this works is Good. you go here with someone, right? And you keep giving him pennies and you look at the trending towards value. It's at it's at 159 and 86 is the current attitude. We do this. You do boom. 104. This. And we want to keep doing this until we get to best well, friends, because right friend. now transition to military alliance has a negative 15 base diplomatic stance to alliance, which gets removed if you get to best friends and you get plus five. To relations with proposer if you get to best friends so that's a positive 15 i believe total uh bonus here to get this deal to happen i think maybe i, I think i'm doing my math wrong but anyways don't want to waste my time on that so i'm gonna just skip through me just giving pennies to sun Jun and just get to the point where he's a best friend and we're gonna do the alliance with him all right so i got him to best friends and now if i do a coalition boom positive 11. now why do i want to do this i'm actually going to get out of alliances with him without getting any diplomatic penalty by becoming a vassal of Liu Biao. but if I actually do this alliance with him, I get plus 72 relations. And when I leave the coalition by becoming a vassal, you actually don't get penalized for leaving the coalition by doing a vassal, by becoming a vassal. So we're going to keep the actual attitude bonus that we're going to get here and in turn be able to progress what I want diplomatically with this bonus intact. Your offer. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to become a vassal. Oops, to? wrong button. We're going to become a vassal of Liu Biao. Now it's gonna that's about positive 21.7 here to make it happen but before i do that there's a couple of things that i actually want to do so we're gonna take oh actually i forgot about this so before i forget we're going to go to mr sun Jan well, because he's our best friend. friend and whenever you ask for items they actually have a opinion on this idea that actually can get removed if you get to best friends when you start the campaign i think it's at negative 11.5 to get the imperial jade seal right now it's at negative 8.5 now, Sun Jian has an Imperial Sword that we can trade um, to make it easier to basically do this. And let's do that. And it's actually at negative 1.0 to get this trade done. I think I can keep the Heavenly Sword and just give Sun Jian just a tiny little bit of money. 74 per turn across the first 10 turns, about $740. But now we get the Imperial Jade Seal. We can keep the weapon that Sun Jian has. And then from here, get one of the best items in the game in my hands. We accept this gracious compliment. Now, with that done, we're going to go to Mr. Juan Shu, our faction leader, and give him the Imperial Jade Seal to further boost his overall authority. And remember, we're playing here in records mode, so there's no familial conflict here for Juan Shu. His sass is unnecessarily great, so we're going to use the units that we have at this moment to do this engagement and just basically get this general potentially removed. I want to reduce the amount of casualties that I take in order to have the highest possible military strength before becoming a vassal of Liu Biao so I can get the most amount of money and give up the least that I have to in the following diplomatic deals. So let's go here. And then this is a decisive victory if we do this battle uh, manually. So we're going to go here and then we will do the battle manually here. And we see here that this guy has about 31% mil miliovation, which is pretty good if I use him just to uh, flank these units. This guy is basically a joke in combat. 
nothing too scary at all. So even Joan Shu can engage them, but we'll use my own units here and just showcase the Rapid Tiger Infantry with their high melee evasion in this little battle. Let's begin. All right, let's begin this battle here. So I can basically wait till the enemy actually comes towards us, which seems, seems to actually move, be moving towards me. And then I'll get these archers to actually shoot the 2G militia units. I'll let the enemy's own archer actually shoot me. And then we're going to get these guys to move forward over here. Now we will move these guys forward in just a bit. Let's go here. Make sure this guy fully routes. Very good. Come back over here. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. Very good. Focus your efforts on the enemy, perhaps. Stop shooting our own units. And that's everybody routing, right? That's it. Very good. We took minimal losses here. Now, I don't necessarily need to mop up anybody else, although we can get a good amount of extra combat potential by doing this. But yeah, let's not kill that general. Um, and from here, I think we can just munch through these units. We barely took any losses, which is exactly what I was looking for. So with that out of the way, let's continue. Okay, and with that, barely any money there. Um, doing this deal here, uh, or from post-battle loot income. And then here, we can just either capture this guy who's only level 1. I really have no reason to actually keep him. We're going to get a lot of good characters as is. So we can just save this money by releasing this character here. Keep and then the from there, we can just... Um, we don't have almost any losses. It doesn't matter to get replenishment. We do want to get a little bit more money. So let's grab that. And then we're done with that battle there. And then we complete this mission, which gives us plus 30 military supplies and plus 5 morale for 3 turns. I don't really care about that. I care about this mission to get plus 5 public order and 25 faction support for grabbing this location to stabilize this region faster. Note that faction support, you don't really see the effect here, but once you grab a region, you take a big hit to income and to public order of a location. Because when you grab a location, it starts with very low faction support, so you need to bring it up. And this is one way to do it. Another way is with this dignity ability that you see here that gets plus 5 faction support faction wide to help make things easier here to grab this location. Anyways, we're going to continue here. We have this settlement to grab. Now, this battle here is a bit of a pickle to actually do without taking that many losses because this is a little bit of a uh, siege location and there are towers and we don't have fire arrows at this time. So either we can do a decisive victory or take our chances with the losses. I would say that to avoid potentially just prolonging this turn one, which is going to be long enough as is. And also there's going to be variability on how many towers should chew up. How will you do this yourself? We're just going to delegate this and just actually take the losses from doing the battle 
and then from there continue here diplomatically all right very good it seems that the two melee, melee units took a bit of losses but now we've occupied the settlement a pretty good overall health and now we get opinion of the of what do you call it of whatever that mission i get it completed and i get that 1500 extra experience for juan shu now it is time to begin the vassalization so i was at positive 11.7 i 21.7 i believe um before i took any losses militarily now i'm at 20.9 we'll take this and now uh, we will also do the main guarantee of autonomy and if you see here the attitude consequence of doing this deal is at 130 right now the, the positive the trending towards now this positive 130 starts with a negative 63 at the moment of attitude with Liu Biao. so in turn i could still get to very friendly with him which i do want to in order to do a marriage with him, a trade agreement, and get legitimacy. Additionally, we're going to become more friendly with his vassals, which actually will make it easier to get legitimacy from them, which we will actually take advantage of. So let's do this here. And this opens offer. diplomatic visibility with Shichi, which we do want. Um, and we'll work on that on Y in just a bit. So continuing here with Liu Biao, I want to well, now come, begin come to in. start giving him pennies in order to get him to very friendly and from there and work my way up to get the marriage for Welcome. his characters so he only has as heir his wife which i could grab as a potential turncoat and assassinate him thereby actually Good making liu bei be, uh, confederate him really early in the campaign but liu bei is really willing to become your vassal so by turn a 11 pleasure. you could potentially vassalize liu bei which is a lot of good income that you can actually keep your to your advantage so aside from that we're gonna work our Welcome. way doing this and Come there's something in. else that we can do which is join wars against we the yellow turban rebellion and he which is a positive 10 to do those deals with Good him and we do want with liu biao joining war against those factions with him as our, he's our vassal master offer. and it's gonna be very advantageous for us Good to see you. here diplomatically because it's gonna give us a pretty good Your amount of money so anyways continuing here i think i don't have to do this any further let's go with the legitimacy it's at negative 3.9 and then we're gonna do trade agreement at positive 2.6 and then here we go. This is where things get interesting. Lucy is a very good heir because he has he has clerk. That that in and of itself makes him a good heir. So we're gonna first marry Lucy to Lady Fen. We're gonna divorce them, and then we'll keep Liu Song married to our faction. The reason why I want that is because Lucy is gonna become our heir, so he's gonna get a happiness or satisfaction bonus because of that. And if you divorce a character in your family they're gonna take a big satisfaction penalty and if Liu Kong is just there in the faction and he's divorced and he's not an heir he's not gonna get that advantage of being heir to his satisfaction like Lu Xi would so we're gonna do this marriage first it's a positive 0 0.5 to do this deal and it's gonna get his vassals to about 30 in relations trending towards I still gotta get them up in current attitude and Liu Biao would actually get to best friends if I were to work him up here now, to do this, I think I can't get any money, though. So forget that. And then let's get this working. Now, something that to make note of, when you request money, it actually has a negative effect from opinion on this idea. If you actually get to best friends, the negative factor of opinion on this idea is removed. So you can have more easily not only get ancillaries, but also money. So let's make this deal happen. Now, he really offer. likes us. And now we're going to divorce that character that we just got. That's going to cause him to drop and trending towards. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to get him up. And how Welcome, we're going to get friend. him up in trending towards and in current attitude is we're going to get his vassals to like us a little bit more. This. And now we'll just get him well into met, very, friend. very friendly terms with me. And in turn, get as much money out of my this vassal master as possible. And you can actually end up making Be more money honored. than you give up when you're a vassal with another faction now something us. that you might be wondering is dude why are you doing mine. this he could steal your vassals very easily and my counter argument is not really if you're in very friendly terms or greater with a faction that is your vassal master you can they cannot steal your heir so just take that into account when you're an heir of a or you have a vassal if you're a vassal and you have an heir what the hell am i saying so yeah just keep that in mind anyways we'll do this deal here now he's gonna it really get very friendly with us and then Welcome, we're going to get him friend. trending even higher to get a military access, which will make Liu Biao even happier with us. Great things between us. Very good. We Keep going. Honored. Make payment. There we go. An okay. So now continuing here. Purpose. Little military access. Welcome, friend. And now he re they really want to do this deal. And let's ask for immediate funds. 243. Yes, sir. Take it. A satisfactory and Liu Biao, look at that. 189 now. Enter we're going to repeat friend. the same thing 
with his other vassal here. Let's do this. May your fortunes multiply. Keep going. Greetings. Well Make met. payment. And this is just About something that we'll do constantly on turn one. And you're going to be able Welcome, to get a friend. lot of legitimacy early on in the campaign by doing this. Just About this shenanigans here is enough. Patience. So, okay, we got him too, very f or too friendly. Demand well legitimacy, met. not aggression pack. Give him a little bit of money. Drop it down. That's enough. And boom, look at that. We're going to get we Lubiel trending very high. So even if he decreases over time, he'll probably still stay at best friends with us, which is exactly what I'm looking to, uh, forward to. All right, there we go. We almost got this guy too very friendly. To okay, excellent. Such small now, continuing here. Trees. Mr. Juan Zhu. Welcome, get over here. Friend. Military access. Request payment. Drop this down. And from there, boom, look at that. Okay, so now we go back to Mr. Lubiel. Now we're going to well, give him a little bit of money in. to get that current attitude up to where I need it to go. We are obliged Look at that. To Already at 115. And keep going. A pleasure. Believe me, we're going to make a lot a of money from him. Very, because the thing that makes it very good to do Welcome. to become his vassal is that Mr. Lubiao makes a buckload of money per turn. And we're going to use, use that to our advantage. So beginning here, let's do make payment again. There you go. Best friend. Okay. Is so let's go here. And then... Excellent. Aid him in war against the Yellow Turban Rebellion. And now we're going to request money. And look at that. Opinion this idea is at negative 0.1. So it doesn't fully remove it when asking for money over time. So let's do this. Let's get it to like maybe 411. Maybe 420. Oh shit. 28. 27. Okay, so about $4,270 across the first 10 turns of the campaign we can get from our Vassal Master, which is crazy. Let's do this. A reasonable offer. And then I'm not going to stop here, dude. We're going go to go now to aid him in war against He Yi. And then look at that. 8.8. .8. Request payment again. Oh, shit. One button. Request payment again. This is probably too much. Maybe 4. 10. That oh, shit. 4.25 again. Oh, there we go. Maybe 2. Okay, there we go. So we're going to get about eight, almost $9,000 from him in the first 10 turns. More than we're actually going to give in tributaries. Oh, I think tributaries here, negative 800. I'm giving some to some other factions. So anyways, yeah. We won't necessarily lose money by being his vassal, which is great. As you wish. All right, so we got that done. Now we're at war with he and the Yellow Terminal Rebellion. That is perfectly fine and acceptable. Now we're going to work through more diplomatic shenanigans. And believe me, we're going to be doing a lot. Oh, wait, talk. and forget about this. Let's go back to the diplomacy here. Lushi is, of course, married into our faction, as I said. We're going to divorce him. And then, as I was talking about Mr. Liu Biao here, we're going to go back to him. And he's still best friends with us, Welcome. even with that Come divorce. In. So let's do receive marriage. It has other character. And, oh my god, get even more money, dude. This is just crazy. There we go. Maybe like two. Look at that. Look at all the money we're getting from Liu Biao this early in the campaign. This is just bonkers. Okay, excellent. Now, something important pointing out about marriages. If you marry uh, a character with a faction and you already had a divorce with a faction, the trending, the, the value uh, reduction in the value of having a marriage with a faction versus having a divorce with a faction actually decreases faster from having a marriage with a faction. So if you do a lot of divorces with one faction and you end up still married with them, over time, you're going to be trending towards uh, overall net reduction in um overall attitude with that faction with you because they're going to be unhappy about the situation of all the divorces that have that have happened in the past and that makes sense so now lucy is our heir which in turn means that we can easily build buildings here in a single turn which is really good so the one that we would want to build is the rural tax collector to make good money and we're going to be banking a lot or having very easy control of our public order so it doesn't matter that we're going to drop in public order for having this building built and it's very cost effective to have we're going to keep these units for now, so I'm going to be doing a lot of diplomatic deals here early on in the campaign. So, important things to take to note of. Miss, since we broke our alliance with Sun Jian, we can actually still do deals with him again, like non-aggression pack and military access, because we, we broke our alliance with him, so everything else is still available that can be done when you're a vassal of another faction. Well so, military access and the non-aggression pack were doable and we want to get actually well. mo instantaneous money right now because we're going to use it potentially this first turn so let's go to some other characters that we or some other factions that we want to engage with diplomatically so as i was talking about support legitimacy 
I want to get visibility with a lot of factions. How do we do this? I'm going to get legitimacy with Shishi. That's going to basically establish relations with him. Then I'll get legitimacy with Lu Shang. It's going to cost a bit. But because I had legitimacy with Shishi already, once I get it with another faction, I'm going to see whatever he adjacently sees from his territories down here. So I could potentially start getting visibility with the Nanman. And believe me, the Nanman are really willing to give you legitimacy. And I mean a lot. They're super willing to do it. And there's some factions up here that have really good characters that we can get in marriage, like Sao Ren from Sao Sao's faction. And then we could get a turncoat of Zangba from Tao Shan's faction. And we can get the two females from Wang Quan's faction into our faction to basically have more marriage uh, possibilities as well. Now let's begin here with Shishi. It's going to be a little bit hard to do initial deals with him, so let's take that into account. He has, I mean, he has a Warblade, Robo the Owen Maker, of course. Yeah, no items to trade. I'm out of items. So to make these deals happen here, it's going to take a little bit of work. We're going to do this. Okay, drop it down a little bit. Get it to zero. Okay, so about 127 is what I have to give up initially to get him up. And I want to get him up in order to get him to um, rent at the very least or friendly. So let's do this. We reach an understanding. And then w after we do this, it's going to be very well easy to be able to get legitimacy from him. Because right now, if you look at legitimacy, it is at negative 4.1. Let's see how positive it gets after we do these deals with him. Take this as there a we go. All right. So because I got him to friendly, now the acknowledged legitimacy went from negative 4.1 to negative 0.1. And that'll give a little bit of money over time. And then in turn, it's going to get him to very friendly, which could make it easier to get a military access, which actually might not even trend that positive because the distance value can, is going to be constant. So it might not be worth it to we even do that. But now, she, she is, is even trending more positive with me Glad at this time, which is great. He's trending towards very friendly. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go now to Lu Shang, And believe me, we're going to throw this guy the kitchen sink will be short. to get legitimacy with him because right now he's at unfriendly. Even getting a non-aggression pack is going to be... a piece of work so to make this happen we're gonna give a good amount of money but i want to give enough so he's actually trending towards more than negative fifth towards negative 15 in value so i need at least positive 13 in attitude change from giving him money there we go negative 22 or positive 22 would you get him to negative 15 i believe which actually might not be enough to make this happen so yeah believe me we're gonna give up a lot but when we marry the character that he has, we're going to net make a, a good amount of money out of doing this deal with him. So it's actually going to be worth it to do this. Let's do this. 25, 22, 25. How much low can I get it while well, he's still at positive 25? Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to give up about $3,000 the first 10 turns. Believe me, it's worth it because once we marry the character that he has, the character that he has comes with three great items that can actually be traded away if I wanted to, to make a lot of money. Like, for example, traded it to, trading it to Liu Biao and in turn make a lot of money back ASAP. So, yeah, this amount of money will definitely make it back up. So we're going to do this deal. He's going to be trending towards negative 12 and then I'll give him pennies so it'll be easier to get legitimacy with him and also get him. I want to get him all the way to very friendly. All right, so I got Lu Shang now to neutral. Words. So if I do this, it's negative 6.5 to be able to do the support legitimacy. But I can actually get him positive enough by giving him money to get towards positive 35, which is enough to get him to friendly, which will make it very easy to ask for legitimacy. I'm trying to give 89 more dollars per turn for the next 10 turns. And then here, a single penny. A and then now he's at negative 5 trending towards 23. Greeting. So again, well you met. keep giving money. Now, just so you know, the from attitude of neutral is from trees. negative 15 to positive 15. Some factions from negative Greetings. 16 to positive well 16. Met. Then friendly is from those values up to negative 50 or negative 51 and up to positive 50 and positive 51 or positive 51. And if you want to get to very to best friends or rivals, you need to get from those ranges up to... 150 or 151 uh, or greater than that and then um negative 150 or negative 151 to become uh rivals additionally 
if you want to get to very friendly, it's from that range that I didn't just mention there, which is negative 50 to about negative 150 for unfriendly or very unfriendly. And then for uh, very friendly from positive 50 or 51 to positive 150 or 151. So anyways, we're almost done here. There we go. We got him where I need. And if I go here and do this, boom, freaking positive, man. And then watch this. As I was saying, look at look at what happens down here in the map. We're going to do this, right? And I don't think I can get that much money back. Let me see. Yeah. So watch what happens down here in the map. Boom. A successful and then now we have visibility with the freaking Nanman. So I have legitimacy now with Lu Chong, right? So now what I want to do next is start going through the Nanman down here and actually get deals with them as well to start getting visibility down here. So let's demand legitimacy now with Mr. King Mulu and then just give him a little bit of money to make this actually work at positive. Se See, this is what I mean, because you can't give money over time with the Nanman. You got to give instantaneous money. It's good to get at least something in the bank right now to be able to do deals with these guys all the way down here. So anyways, now we're going to do this deal with him and then we're going to do it with the Jiaozi tribe. And then I'll do a I'll get visibility with what Liu Shang can see from his own territory. That'll include Cao Cao and Wang Quan. And then once I do that, I can still be able to do crazy shit all the way down here. So let's do this. A harmonious deal. Very good. And then there's the Jealousy Tribes as well. A pleasure. Let's demand legitimacy. And now this guy is super positive because he's at very friendly right now. So we're going to do this to get some money back. At least we're only going to lose 300 net loss here by doing deals with these guys down here. And then now we get visibility to whatever King Mulu can see. Let's keep going. What other tribes can we see? See, they're just going to start appearing like crazy. And the thing is that some of them really like us. They're like super positive. So we're going to keep taking advantage of this. We do this. Boom. More money. And then what I want to do is I want to get as much legitimacy with the factions down here as I can. And then whenever I run out of options, then I go and get um, some legitimacy all the way up here to see if, if the last guy that I got legitimacy with of the Nanman, then I can get visibility from his territories because the Nanman yes, are legitimacy freaking treasure chests. So let's keep going. I keep clicking through them because I forget the names. And then some of them are going to be eliminated on turn one. So I just give money to whichever ones are like major factions that Your I know will last. Everybody else, they're more than willing to actually give money. So, you know, well, it's okay. I, oh, here we go. There's another one. I think this one actually gets eliminated by we Lady Zorong early on. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, here. Even more money. Very good. It is agreed. And in continuing, we got this Glad one done. The with this one. Mine. Welcome. I know I already clicked we all of these, off. but... Oh, maybe not. Come in. Okay, money from this guy. Boom. As you wish. Oh my God. Okay, who else is there? Welcome, friend. The honor is mine. Welcome. The honor. Excellent. Now, if I go down, I think I already got well from King Mulu. Friend. Oh shit! I don't think I had to. Maybe. Oh my! I probably had to do it with him. Okay, let me see. King Wang Hua is trending positive. What about Lady Zorong? Negative 5.6. And then him? Really? I am listening. Ooh, ooh, hold on. This guy really likes us. Here's another one. Holy shit. Bam. Your terms are fair. Oh my god. Glad to see the honor is mine. Excellent. The honor is Well met. Good to see you. I think everybody else is like. Oh, here's another one. Greetings. Oh my well goodness, dude. It's like all of them. We reach an understanding. Okay, who else is there? May our talks bear fruit. I don't really care about her though. Mm, let me see who else is there. What about Liu Dai? Come. Negative. Let no, I don't want to do that. So if I get it with King Meng Huo. Or King Duo C. Oh shit, that's kind of hard to do. Hmm. Who of these what are really willing discuss? to do this? Negative five. Come, we will talk. Already got it with him, Welcome, right? Yeah. Friend. Come, we will talk. Let order guide our talks. I don't think everybody else is kind of hard Come. to get this deal with. We will talk. I right, look How at this one, right? Yeah. King Wu Tugu. What is no, definitely agenda? not. And then keep going up. Okay, one Quan, we definitely want to do deals with. 
be at ease. Ah, damn. Let us discuss matters. Nee. Like, if I get it with King Duo C, it's very easy to get first? it with uh, King Shamoka, I believe. But doing this requires giving up a lot of money, and I don't think it's worth it. How much does am I getting already? 120. I want to get all the way to 150. And I don't know if I can actually do that. Anyways, Welcome. I think there's nobody else here that has appeared that's new. The honor. Yeah, Welcome. all of these I already got Welcome. it from. Excellent. The honor is greetings. All right, well so let's met. go to Mr. Sao Sao now. Where is his ass? There we go. Sao Sao is, is and I believe me, he's more than willing to do deals with us. And then with Sao Sao, we can get both of these characters married into our faction if I want to. So we're going to ask for legitimacy. And legitimacy is at negative 23. I don't know if I can get him any, po any more positive, though. No. Non-aggression pack. Receive marriage with... Uh, no, I want to keep Sauron married so he stays happier. So we're going to divorce his daddy. And then how positive does this get him? This gets him to very friendly. And then if I ask for money... How positive is it? 60. Still enough, actually. Yeah, so let's actually do this. Oh, shit. There we go. So this actually is enough to get him to 63, which I don't think it actually is going to affect these any more positive um, from what I remember. But we'll see here. So let's do this deal. At least get Cao Song into our faction and an aggression pack first. Boom. Your offer is accepted. And now time to work my way up here. So if I do Enjoy this, to see you. I get a 5.3. Yeah, he barely changed. And the military access actually more positive, though, which is good. So anyways, continuing here, um, let's give him pennies. Very good. Strong foundations are built on such small gestures. And then I'm just going to keep doing this until I get him tidings. towards very friendly and see if I get any advantage out of doing this. All right. I already got Cao Cao um, pretty high up in happiness. We're going to divorce Cao Song. And now we're going to go back to Cao Cao. And he's friendly right now. Ah, oh, shit. The marriage actually knocked us down. Actually, these are the values that I already had. So whatever. Let's do this. And then positive two. Holy crap. We can get him all the way up to what do you call it? Best friends. Can I, though? And if I ask for the money, no. Then again, do I really need to do that? Yeah, so we'll do this. We'll trend them more positive. And then from there, we'll get Mr. Sal Ren on our fashion, who has honor manifested. And from there, a which is not that proposal. useful in uh, in the records mode, but whatever. Oh, man, I got to love this game. So now that I did that, did any new non-man factions appear? Let's go through them all, Welcome, just in friend. case. The honor is mine. Ex the honor is mine. Welcome. Mm, I don't think so. You. There might have been some that did appear, but first? I think they're indifferent to me. Like if they're actually trending positive, I would be more than willing to do these deals with them, but it doesn't seem like they are. Yeah, see the rest of these guys are not like not like that positive oh, per se. And then if I go here, this is at King Molu's Bell, which is pretty good. Allied armies. Yeah, but up in this idea can only get to very friendly, so it'll stay very negative. I don't think I should do or trade for that right now. Anyways, continuing here, though. Now, we do have visibility with or can get visibility with uh, the north and in turn with potentially one Quan. So let's go here or I have one Quan already. And then that's probably the only faction of the ones that are here that I would want to do any deals with right now. Let me see. The Han Empire is actually going down. That's interesting. So anyways, continuing here. Let's go to Mr. Wang Quan. We are listening. And then non-aggression pack is at negative 1.0. I don't think I have any items here that I can use to my advantage um, to trade away. Just give him money over time. I just got to get him to friendly. So then he's more than willing to part one of his daughters towards me. And then after that, this also ask for legitimacy from him. I'm so we're going to do the same thing now of giving pennies over time. And then from there, work the rest of the diplomacy actions like I've been ground. doing with every other faction. All right. I asked or gave him the pennies. And now I can do a military access for positive 2.0 and get some money back. And also still work my way up with more pennies so I can get legitimacy and a marriage even higher. All right, so now the support legitimacy is only at negative 0.2, and then I can get $460, and this lady, Wan Baolan, married into our faction, and then I'll get the other lady married into my faction this as well. Accept. 
All right, here we got Miss uh, Wong Panyue, the actual heir of his faction. And I'm going to get this money for marrying into my faction, which actually with the 400 that I got before is enough to make up for the divorce that I just paid for divorcing the Wang Bao Lan female um, that I didn't press record this to show you. All right. And I was checking if anybody else wanted to do any further deals. So Kong Zhou was like directly east of He Yi is willing to do a non-aggression pact which actually is pretty good for me because this in turn I can utilize to potentially get any further deals with him. Maybe it's not really that useful. He's a negative 2.0 to do anything. We are listening. Yeah, because yeah, I got that on a regiment pack, but he's already at neutral. He's not trending towards positive right now. I mean, I could give him some money if I wanted to, but like, what the hell is the advantage of doing this? I'd get him trending even more. I could potentially get legitimacy. I guess I can do this. You know what? Let's do this and then see if it ends up being worth it. Now, I could potentially do some more shenanigans. So let me go. Hmm. Let me think here. So given that we are on records mode, we're going to grab this little guy. It does provide plus 10% ammunition. It's a good bow, but whatever. And then I believe I still have the heavenly sword here. Not necessarily bad. And if I remove it, it reduces satisfaction by one. Okay, give him this one, actually. There we go. And now we're going to do some shenanigans here. We're going to go to King Duo C. Where the hell is he? Should be... Let me see. I go over here. Welcome, Everybody else here already friend. got it from, Glad right? To see you. I'm just triple checking. Pleasure. Welcome, because I, I got somebody welcome. that I missed out on. Nope. Excellent. Okay. Talk. I'm gonna go to King Duosi. A middle ground can be reached. It's pretty negative. Give him this. Give him that. Holy shit! It's actually positive. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do this, right? Boom. We approve this. And now I got more factions that are visible around one Quan. A bunch of factions here that are actually uh, not that favorable. Okay. So now we're going to go to Mr. Kong Zuo, whatever the hell his name is. Military access. Negative two. Good day. Give him the money that he wants. You're probably like, dude, you're freaking crazy. All right, we're going to do As this. You wish. And then, where is he? Find his ass. God damn, Duo C is trending really positive. Because I did this over legitimacy with him, and he's very friendly with Shamoka. I believe I can get legitimacy from Shamaka very Welcome. easily. Come in. So, but first I gotta get legitimacy from somebody else like this guy. So if I do this, where's he right, right now? Okay, I'll get him to friendly. All right, so damn, it went from negative six to zero by getting him to friendly. So now we'll do this. Okay, and I so believe Shamoka should now be... There we go, he's visible. Welcome. 0 0.9. Oh my Yeah, I believe he has an unequipped gold item, right? Yeah, which actually has pretty nasty stats when you look at it. But yeah, he's definitely not willing to part with that. So I can definitely get this done with him. I don't think anybody else appeared that is going to be worth it. And then here, King Dosi and King Shamaka will like yes, me more. We accept. And then if I look, I believe... Nope, did the wrong up here? From being next to Kong Zhou? No. I believe everybody else that's here I already have deals with. Jesus, dude. And with that, I got to nice. I wanted to get at least 150 in legitimacy and diplomacy because if I get three level four characters during the intern, you know, this this upcoming turn, I can in turn be able to afford three banishments the next turn, stack the negative 15 satisfaction, be able to handle it, and then basically in five turns completely remove it and potentially be able to banish more characters that are pure recruitable. Now, this faction, this army here, I, I don't really find it worth it to even keep these units around. We're going to disband these units. I don't necessarily need them anymore. And we're going to kick off that guy from the faction. Let's remove this guy. 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 And look how much money we're at. At the beginning of My turn Lord. one. We're going to kick this well. guy out of the faction. Release from service. And here we go. Everybody's a distant relative. So our salary for characters is at zero. And then Mr. Juan Shu. And stay deployed. Here. I'll keep him around. And then aside from that, 
we're good here well yeah i'm building the state workshop i don't want to build any more of this this stack collection because i'm gonna end up with a state workshop built there no matter what so i'll just kill it right now so i'll build this first i'll get this mission completed to get your economy grows and then i'll build up the jade craftsman asap because the next turn i'll be able to get 10 percent of replenishment and the garrison here will boost up in level the next turn once i've instantly constructed but also it'll get the, the 10 percent replenishment from the one of the missions that appears after this one so anyways i believe there's nothing else for me to do here yeah i don't really care about spending any more time on any further things so we're getting 162 legitimacy in total almost enough to get we can get to revere it actually on level three if i wanted to which is just insane but anyways i think that will be it here